WebAssembly is the new kid on the block. It's got folks like me all abuzz with excitement, but what is it? And how can adopting Wasm today prevent headaches in the future? In this video, we're exploring that question, and if you find it useful, get subscribed. We'll make more videos like this soon. We live in a complex computational environment. Our desktops and laptops are usually Intel-derived x86 CPUs with complex and power inefficient instruction sets. Apple machines are running custom silicon that uses the ARM instruction set. Plus there's RISC-V that seems to be just over the horizon. The problem is code compiled for x86 doesn't run natively on ARM hardware. In fact, code compiled on one platform won't work on any other. Sometimes compiling your code for different CPUs will just work, but more often than not, it requires careful consideration and extra development time to target other platforms. There's also operating systems to contend with, but what if you could develop for a single target and leave the hard work of porting to every other system and CPU up to the experts of their respective platform? Well, you can. It's WebAssembly. Right now, WebAssembly has implementations on all major CPU architectures and all major operating systems. This means that you can write your program for Wasm and it will play nice no matter what machine it runs on. Wasm even runs inside of all major web browsers. So if you have an application for the cloud that you also wanna run on a client machine, that's entirely possible. And here's the best part. The most popular programming languages now support WebAssembly too. You have major players like C, C++, Go, and Rust with first-class WASM support, while other languages like AssemblyScript, Python, .NET, Lua, and many others support community offerings for compiling code into WASM. The chances are high that your preferred language already supports WebAssembly, so check out the documentation to learn more. WebAssembly implements a security paradigm known as deny by default. You've seen this on your smartphone and other devices where an app must ask for permission to use certain classes of system resources. This includes things like HID devices, cameras and microphones, the file system, and even network access. Not all operating systems support this paradigm. In fact, many do not, but WebAssembly provides this layer of security by default, no matter what operating system it's running on. And adopting Wasm for your project grants you that security by default. Getting started with Wasm is easier than ever today. Rust, Node.js, and many others support the entire lifecycle of development for WebAssembly apps. And you can deploy your code to the cloud with Wasm environments like the WebAssembly System Interface, or WASI for short. WebAssembly is creating the tools to develop a single code base today, deployed to the cloud, to the desktop, smartphones, and anywhere in between, and support it well into the foreseeable future. Your business will be able to reduce development costs and support overhead, and increase security by targeting this new, powerful, and open technology. And that sounds like a win-win to me. Thank you for watching this video. If you found it informative, make sure that you get subscribed to see more videos just like this. We'll see you next time.